in the home straight and they'll then face up to the first of 19 fences in all and they're off and they race over the extended three miles are just a little slow to begin on the inside was mortal they've all jumped off okay with the world's end to the outside of nail mcginty as they cross over the first the world's end lands in front and a slight peck on landing by mortal towards the inside but they're all safely over the first so it is the world's end who takes them up their hill with topville bend towards the inside now racing in second nail mcginty pushing up between them in third santini out a little wide in fourth drovers lane on the the inside in fifth followed by delta work in six as they go over the uphill fence at which in the last trio on the blind side didn't get very high also towards the rear is drinks interval who's held up on the outside and mortal towards the inside rail just about the back marker slightly downhill at this point as they go on towards fence number three the world's end will rise in front as they cross over it and as they crossed over it they're all safe so it is the world's end out in front on the inside, Topville Ben racing in second. Now a sweeping move around the outside by the mayor, Drinks Interval. And in the blinking of an eye, Drinks Interval has gone from in the last duo to taking up the running, jumping over the water, which is fence number four. So Drinks Interval and Richard Johnson now go on to the world's end and Topville Ben. Now McGinty and Santini as they go over the first of the open ditches. Next was top of the game. It was followed by Delta Work. And then Count Mirabel with the purple of Mr. Malarkey towards the end side as they go over the next another plain one and Topville Ben has gone Topville Ben was in second when crashing out at fence number six they continue their climb now towards the top of the hill the horse is up okay and rider Sean Quinlan has just got to his feet so they go now towards a ditch the seventh and it's drinks interval clear stands a mile off that open ditch clears it well a mistake there by Count Mirabel who trailed his hind legs through that good sit by Mark Grant at the moment only has mortal and on the blind side behind on the blind side hasn't really jumped that well and he's already getting outpaced at the back of the field so they've gone through one third distance in the rsa insurance novices chase of 2019 and drinks interval and richard johnson out in front racing in second the world's end paddy brennan towards the outside sticking to the inner tom o'brien on now mcginty and these then being followed by santini the gray colors sported by nico de boinville just ahead of top of the game and harry cobden as they go over the downhill fence taken quite wide is delta work and traveling well at this point for davy russell looking for for his fourth win in this race. Drover's Lane is next, followed by Mr. Malarkey on the outside, Count Mirabel, then Mortal, and the one who's struggling at this point, still being niggled along by Noel Feely, is on the blind side. So still 11 of them are in the hunt as they begin to make the turn and on towards the halfway point in the RSA. And as they go towards fence number nine, it is still Drinks Interval, a little wide, who will have the lead, crossing over that, dives at it, led there by a couple of lengths to the world's end in second. Shaken up against the inside rail is now McGinty in third as they go over the fence, which will be the last in a circuit's time and all safely over. So a circuit to go in the RSA, and it is still Drinks Interval who's out in front. To now McGinty racing in second, the world's end is in third. Santini on the outside in fourth, and then towards the inner, the green jacket of top of the game, creeping up to take fifth. Between horses is Drover's Lane in a very close six, followed then by Mr. Malarkey, and then Count Mirabel, Mortal, and and still being pushed along at the back of the field is on the blind side. So now they swing the turn, going down the back straight on towards fence number 12 and drinks interval has a lead of two and a half lengths to the world's end racing in second now mcginty just third and being ridden along for the first time as they got over that and all the remaining 11 are safely over and drinks interval now begins to put them to the sword one or two now being pushed along in behind count mirabel being one of them pulled up at the back of the field is on the blind side as they crossed over the water jump on the blind side was pulled up before fence number 13 10 of them remain on now towards the penultimate open Open ditch. Drinks Interval will lead by two lengths. Drover's Lane in second hit that fence. Driven away from it, the world's end. And now Delta Work begins to creep into contention. Has just gone by Santini as they go over the fence, taking them up the hill. Sticking to the inside, top of the game is creeping closer. A couple of lengths back to Mr. Malarkey. Then Count Mirabel. Mortal on the inside. Now McGinty. Now drops out the back of the field. On towards the next. Fence 16. Four out 
the final open ditch. Drinks Interval on the outside just had the lead. Over in second, Drover's Lane. In third is Delta Work. Santini out wide is in fourth. The World's End against the rail is in fifth. Switched out deep is top of the game. The first six still covered by only three lengths. Throw in two more lengths to Mr. Malarkey, who still has every chance. Then Mortal towards the inside, trying to stay on. Count Mirabelle is being driven, and outrun is now McGinty. They make the run down the hill inside the final half mile of the RSA, and this is the third from home, and still many, many chances. Drinks Interval will rise just in front, but now looming up, it is Delta Work who breezes into the lead. Delta Work and Davy Russell still looking confident. On his outside is Santini. He's inside Drover's Lane, limpet like towards the inside rail. Mortal is trying to stay on. Just in behind the leading group, Mr. Malarkey is driven together with top of the game as they now make the turn back towards home. Mortal went the shortest way, still has every chance. Delta work towards the near side. Santini is right there, and so too is top of the game. Four of them virtually in line. They come down towards the last. Santini just had the lead. He was out jumped on the inside by top of the game. Top of the game now a neck in front. Santini trying to kick back. Back in third is Delta Work and now appears to be held. They've got 100 yards to go. Top of the game is out in front. Leads by a half length and top of the game has taken the RSA. Top of the game has given Paul Nichols his third win in the RSA. He repelled Santini in second and in third, Delta Work. The result of our second race is first, number 10, top of the game. Second, number 8. Third, number 2, and the fourth place horse, number 4. The full result to the RSA Insurance Novice Steeplechase. First, number 10, top of the game. Second, number 8, Santini. Third, number 2, 